In 2023, the domestic processors introduced include the Lungsen 3 A6000 featuring a unique instruction set architecture along with Huawei Kirin 9000S and Titan V. While these CPUs are not leading the performance race, the Huazi Kunpeng 920, both for desktops and servers, shows improvement over previous dual-channel epics. Yet, many local processors are developed with proprietary or adapted architectures. Therefore, they all have a small problem and they can't support Windows systems far away. Of course, our protagonist today, Zhao Xin, is different. Recently, we viewed Zhao Qing's latest desktop processor in action. The performance of this KS model eclipsed the KS16708-2A we evaluated four years ago. Not only does it boast an efficient thermal management system, but it can also run high-resolution games with ease, thanks to its rare X86 license. Unlike Haiguang, another domestic x86 CPU maker, Zhao Qing didn't receive its x86 license directly from AMD or Intel, it's Wuxian, the former big brother of motherboard chipsets. Around 2003, Wuxian obtained patent cross-authorization from Intel through a series of complicated historical reasons, and in 2013, it established a Zhaoxin form to sell a fully established technical team and related technology patents to the Shanghai municipal government. Although the licensing agreement between Wesson and Intel later expired in 2018, Zhao Xin can still use the x86 instruction set license before 2018, and because of the x86 consumer processor in the past 10 years, the processor adopts a universal top cover for broader cooling compatibility, despite a changeable no-fail pin position. Although the anti-fail feature might seem superfluous in such a design, the KS7 uses a packaging akin to Intel's, but the core architecture is rather similar to AMD and Ryzen's post-natural design, with the PS7 featuring an interconnection architecture including a CPU lane and an I.O. lane, housing eight independent Century Brain microarchitecture cores. Let's test today's video together. When I saw the appearance of KS7000, I wonder if everyone was as confused as I was. Why is the appearance of this domestic processor so similar to Intel? Actually, not only do they look alike, even the slots are Intel's LGA1700, and the anti-tape ports are exactly the same. You can even put a Core i5 directly into the Mega Core motherboard. However, because the definitions of pins are different, lighting is naturally impossible. But one thing I can't understand is if using the same slot is to reduce development costs, this processor offers a 30 trillion operations capability, yet lacks support for hyperthreading. It relieves 30 trillions in three delays, but does not support hyperthreading I.O. with part of KS7000 integrated with DDR4 and DDR5 memory controllers and uses 24 PCI 4.0 lanes to number four, not inferior to AMD's previous Zen, and even supports USB 4. Additionally, the I.O. band also integrates a graphics core named C1190, which officially claims to support H.265 hardware encoding. However, since we received the engineering test version this time, it does not support graphic core output, so we have no way to test its actual level. Having been outside for an extended period, they will assist everyone in testing it adequately. Hence, how much has the capability of the Xiaoxin KS77 escalated? We examined the prior Lu Jiazui architecture model 6000 run of the industry standard spec 2006 to gauge how the Century Avenue's IP7's performance fares with the memory trials using DDR4 3002 and the compiler consistently GCC12. In the spec 2020 Neo integer benchmark, the KS7000 displayed more than double the prowess of the KS6000 attaining 49.2 through compiler enhancements. Subsequently, spec 2006's integer multi-core measure, KS7000 is also 86% stronger than KS6000, essentially equivalent to the gap under single core with multi-core efficiency being quite impressive. You might not have a concept of the specs score, switching to the familiar Win 11's PS770 CPU Z single core benchmark, where KS6000 leads by 88%, the gap consistent with the performance under Vivo, and the multi-core score compared to K6000 is doubled. Here we are only making a vertical comparison of Jauxin's KS7000 and KS6000. If you are interested in domestic CPU benchmarks, just support us with three likes, and we'll go ahead and buy back the domestic processors like Lungsun, Customs Fighting. As a big comparison review of domestic processors, you guys say it's fun, right? Since it can support x86 for gaming, it shouldn't be bad either. Directly insert a mainstream graphics card for Zhao Qing to run the recognized hardware killer track stitching 2.77. You can see that this 8-core, eight 8-thread eight KS7000 together with the mainstream RTX 4060 Ti graphics card and with DL3 quality enabled under 2K high resolution, the frame rate, it can reach over 100, which can be said to be very smooth. However, because 2077 is very CPU intensive, even with a 24-core Warty 900K, all cores will be occupied. Therefore, KS77's core occupancy is basically between 90% and 95 
25% with no extra margin. And then the domestic 3A game Genshin Impact under 2K high resolution has a frame rate of about 50 when running maps, dropping to 40 while fighting monsters. Genshin PD side is more single core performance. While in the body single core it's the cash war of Regu, this platform can maintain about 100 frames on average. Then under the Origin 2 engine CS 22K default resolution can also reach over 70 frames. Even in smoke free scenes, there is no noticeable frame drop. After testing the combination of KS7000 plus RTX 4060 Ti, we also tried running KS7000 with an A card. The above four games also did not renew any bugs or incompatibilities. Although KF7000 can't achieve esports level frame rates, it is enough for you to smoothly run most mainstream games. We also tried this processor's IO performance and its data read and write showed no problems, basically maxing out the PCIe 4.0 bandwidth. Then with some mainstream work software, whether it's PSPR or DaVinci, KS7000 can normally preview, edit and export. And while exporting, the dedicated graphics encoder can be normally called without any error occurred. We also tested 3D software, C4D, ID software creation and VS Code. Similarly, there were no issues. If any software might have compatibility issues, it could be those needing extended instruction sets. But of course, it won't actually check your specified machine software. These software will identify CPU model I pushed to the CPU application instruction set. However, for non-mainstream signals without documentation in the database, instruction set errors may occur. But at least I haven't encountered such software yet. All this is based on the Win11 environment. How is the software ecosystem adaptation on domestic OS? We installed the Yangtze River Kirin domestic operating system on the KX7000, and the overall completion is quite good. The content in the App Store covers daily office and entertainment needs, as well as drivers for many industry devices. In the past month, WeChat has also launched a universal native version. If minor functionalities are missing, it should suffice for messaging and file sharing. There's also a comprehensive WeChat Win32 version, executing Windows applications in Galaxy Kirin via direct translation. Kirin's printer compatibility is commendable. Our workspace connected HP printers over the network cable, seamlessly accessed through WPS. Presumably, some intellect-intensive offices may have already transitioned to domestic PCs. Does this compatibility align with your requirements? Frankly, domestic OS smoothness still lags behind Win11s and could benefit from further refinement. Having surveyed product tests and user insights, what's your opinion on the aesthetics of the KX7000? The comparison to other domestic processors intrigues me, especially against the X86 market leaders. I'm eager to learn about the P device's domestication in key agencies, and I encourage sharing your experiences below. While the KX7000 may not rival recent X86 giants in performance, it represents a significant advance over the predecessor KX6000 series. Amidst the rise of domestic CPUs, Jiaoxin emerges as a hopeful voyager, Opting for the homegrown X8 processor, this bright initiative ventures to both domestic and global markets. While future dominance by X86 isn't clear, it promises to be a formidable contender. Presently, Jiaoxin's inherent X86 interoperability marks the industry's sole breakthrough. Even forsaking the Windows sphere, Jiaoxin leads in domestic OS compatibility, allowing seamless operation of Intel and AMD's forthcoming X86 applications without the need for software recompilation or immediate system adaptations. You might install Steam on the KX7000 to effortlessly enjoy 3A titles, as one of the superior local processors for the budget-conscious demographic, it stands as one of the most user-friendly domestic CPUs for consumers. I hold immense pride and appreciation for the evolution of national x86 processors to this juncture. The KX7000's market positioning will ultimately hinge on its retail price. It's notable that the preceding KXU67 ATA motherboard and CPU package is presently available for as little as 450 yuan on the secondary market. I even acquired a Jouchin-powered notebook for just above 1,000 yuan before. Those who like to tinker can also consider picking one up to play around with. Lastly, I hope the early stages of domestic CPUs can continue to improve. Okay, that's all for this video. I think it turned out pretty well. Don't forget to vote, like, and collect. I'm Triple Connect, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye-bye.